Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, have you ever wanted to get yourself a brand new speaker from a reputable brand, you know, like high quality speaker, but one that doesn't really break the bank? Now, in this case today, I have here with me the Sonos Era 100. And it's sort of a more affordable kind of high quality speakers that I've been testing out for the past one to two weeks now. And I have it on my desk. So this is actually a very interesting speaker. If you know the brand Sonos, basically they are these guys who produce like really high quality speakers. And you know, the most affordable sort of like speaker is actually the Sonos One, if I'm not mistaken. So this is slightly higher than that, the Era 100. It's also having like a slightly larger subwoofer and all that. So the sound is just going to be a bit better than the Sonos One. But anyway, forget all that. We're going to talk a bit about this Sonos Era 100 and again, if you are in the market looking for something approximately like 1,500 ringgit-ish, well, you might want to check out this Sonos Era 100. Now, I'm going to talk about this particular speaker in a couple of categories. It's going to be a very quick one. We're not going to get too technical because this is supposed to be like a video for the average consumer. So first up, let's talk a little bit about the packaging. You know, it does come in this really nice box here. You know, Sonos is really about the sustainability efforts and all that. So everything is in recycled paper. In fact, the speaker itself is also recycled plastics. So once you get that unboxed and all that, the way you set up the device is actually super simple because you do it everything via the app. So you can install it in your iPhone or your Android devices and you just need to follow a couple of steps before you get it set up. Now the second thing here, let's talk a little bit about the design and the form factor. Now the Era 100 is not a large speaker. I wouldn't call it small or anything like that. It's not like your portable Bluetooth speaker. This is supposed to be plugged into your power output at all times. There's no battery whatsoever in the speaker itself. So just bear in mind about that. Now in terms of the design, it comes with two colors. There's a black and a white. Usually I would go for the white, but this time around I decided to go with the black. And you can see it actually fits my desk setup very well. Now there's a little bit of minimalist design going on here. There's nothing much to talk about it. It's just a very simple tube-like design where you do have a couple of touch controls on the top and of course like a mesh kind of look at the front. So this is a very typical Sonos kind of look and I like it very much because again, it is very minimalist and it will fit on your desk discreetly, I would say. So it's just sitting there nicely. All right, so that's just in terms of the design well, but how does it sound like? Well, I would say that in rooms like this, where I'm currently in a slightly small room, I noticed that the sound was actually very, very good. Now, there's a, like I said earlier on, the woofer itself is slightly larger than the Sonos one, so you can expect a little bit more bass. If you are coming from something like a portable Bluetooth speaker, you will definitely feel a bump, not just in terms of the volume, but also in terms of the deeper bass that you can find on the Era 100. All right, so let's just uh, play a little bit of a sample clip here. Just to give you a bit of a context, I'm going to give you two comparisons. The first sound will be coming out from a studio display, which does come with pretty awesome speakers built in. But this is just to give you an idea, like if you are using a computer kind of speaker, this is the best kind of sound that you probably can get. After that, we'll switch to the Era 100, and then you can try and listen and hear the differences between the two. Alright, so now that we've done playing the sample clip, I hope you were able to hear the difference between the Era 100 and the sound coming up from my studio display. So just in terms of the sound, like I said, for small spaces like this, it is perfect because you can hear everything very richly. However, if you're moving to something like the living room, I do think that you might want to invest in perhaps two Era 100s because you can actually pair them up together and have a stereo sound or maybe go for something a little bit more punchier, maybe the Sub Mini or something like that because to fill up an entire living room, it does it is able to perform, but I would say that to get the best sound, you might want to invest in something a little bit more higher than that. 
All right, so that's just in terms of the sound, in terms of the controls, like I mentioned earlier on, you do it via touch control. It's very simple. You can adjust the volume by sliding across the bar. You can also play or pause music by just tapping on the play button. And naturally, you can also skip the track or go to the previous track also by touching the capacitive buttons, which are very sensitive, by the way. Now, if you are into voice control, this is where the Sonos Era 1 is also able to pick up a bit of sound control. Hey, Sonos, play music. Hey Sonos, lower volume. Hey Sonos, off music. Um, last but not least, uh, just in terms of the overall package, like who is this really for? Now, I would say that again, if you are coming from something like typical portable Bluetooth speakers, or perhaps you already have PC speakers in the house, or maybe you want to set up like a multi-room you know, speaker setup, I think the ERA 100 is a good stepping point for you to enter like the high quality speaker and audio system because again, it doesn't cost that much. It's not cheap, by the way. Uh, 1599, if I'm not mistaken, is definitely not cheap. But yeah, this is a stepping stone for you to try something like a little bit more high quality than what you might already be having. Now, with that said, uh, thank you for watching today's very quick video. Hopefully, it has helped you out in some way or another. If it has, don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel. And again, I'll put in a link where you can get them in Malaysia. I think they're from TC Acoustics, uh, just in case you are not familiar with them. But yeah, thank you for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye!